There is sharp new criticism tonight of the Dallas hospital that has become the focus of the Ebola story in this country. And it comes from a nurse who works there. Brianna Aguirre says the hospital was not prepared to deal with the disease. Texas Presbyterian is where the first U.S. diagnosed Ebola patient died and where two nurses who treated him caught the disease. One is now being cared for in Atlanta. The other was sent to suburban Washington. We have a team of correspondents covering the Ebola story. First, Anna Werner in Dallas. Anna? Jim, we spoke late this afternoon with that nurse Aguirre. Now, she did not work on Thomas Eric Duncan's case, but she did help treat her co-worker, nurse Nina Pham, when she became sick with Ebola. I saw um, a chaotic scene. It wasn't organized. It wasn't safe. Um, no one really in charge. And every time I'd ask, who, who is in charge? And I went round and round and round with my hospital over who is in charge. And the final answer is, I was. And what did you see that so disturbed you? The most disturbing things I saw were uh, basically breaching of basic infection control principles. I saw people that were supposed to be in charge, being the CDC and infectious control department, telling nurses, telling doctors to do things that were not safe. Um, they asked. They told, they instructed a doctor coming out of uh, a patient's room that was in the process of being ruled out for Ebola. They were there because of the suspicion of Ebola. They told that doctor, go ahead, you're all suited up. Just go on to the next patient's room. Why are you speaking out now? The bottom line is, is that I believe that it's information that should be known. It should have been known a while ago, um, not this late into this, in Dallas, in my hospital, a um, little, little too little too late. Now today, the hospital said in a statement that Thomas Eric Duncan, the first patient to eventually die from Ebola, was moved directly to a private room and placed in isolation upon his second visit to the ER, and that staff wore the appropriate personal protective equipment as recommended by the Centers for Disease Control at that time. Now, Aguirre says she is not showing any symptoms of Ebola at this time, but if she did, she would not feel comfortable being treated at her own hospital. Anna Werner in Dallas. Anna, thank you.